Lisa Lampanelli. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you? Hello. Good to see you. Oh, my God. Rich Moss is here. What's going on? That Welcome. so unexpected and disliked. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Do you mean actually, already? not really. No. <laughs> I freaking love Rich. He's like one of the few people I go, he actually apologized to me once because he hurt my feelings, you he know? Did, yeah. How did he and hurt your feelings? Oh, he such, was such a dick back in the day. He I don't still know if is. he still is. Yeah, he is. But I no. think inside he's a sweet, deep human being, you know, with all that stupid addiction crap that he's but always spouting. About. But li- li- listen to me, two tone hair. Uh, <laughs> Rich, it's on purpose. It's not no hair like yours. Listen, <laughs> I, well, look at that. Yeah, why <laughs> take the cap off, stupid? Listen, listen. listen. Well, you don't think it's an appropriate look for a sixty-year-old man? Well, I don't know that I'm appropriate for a fifty-seven-year-old woman either, who's not a dyke yet. But I mean, wait, no, he was so nice to me because one time he made a joke about me, not on stage, and because on stage it doesn't bother yeah. you. Then off stage, sure. I was like, boy, that was mean. Mm-hmm. He comes by and he goes to me, Alicia, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm kidding, right? You know I'm kidding, right? <laughs> okay. And I, I, and he, my... he thinks if he says it fifty times, <laughs> like and still does it, like but continuously you know... throughout the rest of your life, it counts. Yeah, but he, you so know... he's like making <laughs> amends to me for the last twenty five years. No, but I always have a good big heart for you, you... and I always wonder how Bonnie uh, freaking tamed you because you're you nicer don't, now. You don't remember how I stuck up for you in Amsterdam? You did. When you oh were my in the bathroom God. crying, I came he in did. to console he did, you Jim in Norton. Amsterdam. Did he even introduce that I'm here yet? Lisa Lampanelli. Nobody cares. So Jim, wait, Jim let me tell you how something. Did you make... Let me tell you what happened. But, w- ironically, last week a guy interviewed me about Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. And I said I forgive him because he called me and asked forgiveness also, which I thought yeah. was a big deal because Patrice yeah. didn't give a fuck about anybody. No. So this Rich Voss and me and Patrice go to do these shows in this Amsterdam, this stupid comedy festival, festival yeah. that was not even in Amsterdam. It was like it's some half cock. Yeah, fucking horrible, stupid. Yeah. So we're there, and I had strep throat. So I was needed sleep, and every time that fucking fat bastard, Patrice, walked by me on the plane, he would like punch me and wake me up. And I'm like, <laughs> like I'm a fat cunt at the time, but I'm like, I am still a girl, like, and I'm sick, so stop punching me. And I couldn't take it anymore, and it started bawling in the bathroom, because at heart, I'm a big pussy yeah. and boss came and talked me off a no, ledge no, and i think it's because you have daughters too because no, you get it it's probably because he had no, to shit and you no, were in the bathroom that's true no, yeah. that's true no, it's very no, weak this, is, this is what you got we i'll tell you what happened this is spit it out story. yeah what do you we were at the club it's a different and thing? we were gonna go to the red light district and you said i want to hang district. out and Patrice said, oh. fuck off, you can't come with us. Not, and you were in the bathroom. Yes. It all came to a fucking... Well, cl- well, it all yeah. started with the yeah. airport. Then and went, then you it's were in the bathroom. Pylon. Yeah. Cry, and I went in the bathroom to console you. But so you went really, in the ladies' room to hug well, somebody? I just wanted to see other girls come in. Well, that but, is true. And no, you know what? But, no, but, but no. what's great about it is you showed a side to you that was yeah. so nice that you could have gotten laid there by those chicks yeah. who overheard how nice you were but I just, if you were I just better looking. I actually think you're Really sexy. That's what's effed up about me. You should see him without a shirt on. No, it's not happening today. He has a good no. body. Have you seen him no. without a shirt? No. He's in fucking shape. Come on, please, no. real quick. Show him no. on. Just Show real quick. Is in oh shape. my God, right. that took a lot. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Wait, wait. Don't take it off. Not yet. Yeah, go yeah, slowly. Yeah, we'll go Let's go slowly. On. Let's go slowly. We'll take it off. Wait, there I gotta take is. a picture of this. Grab that shirt from him. There it is. All right. That's not terrible. The Jewish. I like the Jewish star. There it is. No shirt on. No picture. No picture. Turn around. Come on. Lisa Lampanelli. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, turn around. Come on, you get a good picture. Oh my God, what a sexy beast that guy is. He's flexing now. <laughs> He's doing this for Lisa. See, I have no muscle tone. Be- even though I lost the weight, I don't work out and none of that shit. I don't believe don't in it. it Do you? <laughs> don't put it up if it's bad. Listen to him. He's such a girl. Hey, uh, Troy. He really is. Hey, Troy, body can you... dysmorphia, sit down. Can you turn that screen on, Troy, so that we can yes. look at And then you show us the photo and we'll no, find out no, if it's bad or not. Right no, 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 no. You won't do that. So it's good. You, you don't go after the six pack then. <laughs> no, no, no. He's clearly in great shape, but you don't care about definition. <laughs> no, seriously, because I don't. I don't I, my right. fucking legs are I'm horrible. I'm working on losing a little why? more weight. I'm 61. Because you look why? good, Rich. I want to do stand up with my shirt off. Like no, no, I please be don't. I want to a rock star. Like no, Bert Kreischer? Gross. No, so you are 61, huh? Yeah. Now, I hit 57 last year, and I had a profound change. Mm-hmm. I decided that I, I'm a nice person inside, and I don't mind people knowing it. That's why I'm being so nice to you today. Why were you okay. always, uh, you weren't, you don't uh, want people to see how nice you are? Sure. I'm a, I'm a pussy. The only person who saw yeah, me but, cry in all those many years of comedy was this goddamn Rich Voss in a bathroom in Amsterdam yeah. just so he could get some pussy. Right. Now, listen, but here's the difference. People, you're a nice... Pe- <laughs> you, no, no, you I love always, him. You're, 
you you know okay. people don't separate your realness that's between the your act. That's the problem. Okay. People yeah. think that you know you're well an aggressive cunt. No, what what was wrong with that? You big forehead cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually better. Wow. Yes, yeah, it that was. That was actually that was a, that was a really that was an economy of words. <laughs> that's good. Really great. Well, they're paying for punchlines, yeah. not for prose. Let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no. So go ahead. You yeah. Know, no, they so, thought so I was so an aggressive they cunt. You as right. who you are on stage in in real life. Yes. And you're not that person. Right. And that's why Whitney Cummings you're... and I had talked about when after we did that roast to Trump, we were like, should we ever do a roast again? Because people think we can actually take a joke and we can't so we were like we're not doing roast anymore huh. because it teaches people how to treat you on the street for the next 20 years of your life yeah. so you'd have everybody coming up to you say hey you fat cunt and at the time it hurt my feelings because i was a fat cunt now they can say anything they want because i'm freaking clearly hot as fuck yeah I you see. do look good i do <laughs> i do really good. i i i do. oh my I god look- your picture is up speaking it's of really hot. Oh, good. good yeah That's rich though bad. here's where i <laughs> uh, people who's watching this picture don't be deluded by this false definition he has. He's scrouching over so right. it appears no. yes, to be is. six yes, pack. He and, F- no, 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 I know. fucking <laughs> fish tank hair. Let me tell you. <laughs> he throws it out just to see. Yeah, no, just to see. He's right. right. never right. really Everything catching on. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Listen, it's okay. That's fucking. No, it are, is. It is fantastic. Here's what we'll do. Now, Jim Martin, do you ever take your shirt off to do this? Yeah, there's a guy there with a cock. What do you think? Why would you add to it? A There's guy with all guys a in guy here. A guy with a cock. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to the guy with not cocks. Yeah, just say a guy. <laughs> exactly. Or a girl with a this cock. This is economy of words. You're right. Day? Stop. Stop. Very you're, aggressive room. You're, Tell me. I yeah. can't punch down after you all the time. Because you're too short. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you too. Yes, yes, yes. We watched footage of you in some room in uh, wherever it was, Detroit, where you were fucking fuming oh, no. at somebody. What San happened? Jose. I'll tell you exactly what oh, that happened. Was, yeah, but the headline oh, was the Lisa Lampanelli breakdown of meltdown. meltdown. Yeah. Which I fucking loved, by the way, because it's more attention. Yeah. Hello. But want to hear what really happened? Yes, this yeah. was so freaking great. Okay. I... Had all, six months of shows back to back, like every single weekend. I can't stand it. I yeah. hate to work. I shouldn't have to work. I have money. I'm not rich boss, desperate for the attention, right. stage time, and money. You're comfortable. Uh-huh. However, and I'm comfortable, talented. as they say. So I am at the final two gigs. The second to last one is San Jose, California. I'm up there. And it's when all this Me Too shit is going on. Now, I never got Me Tooed, sadly. I know, shocking. (laughs) I know. I was like, Jesus, just a little tip in at least. (laughs) However, what happened was I have a sensitivity towards people telling me to shut up. Because my father was a gentleman and he died recently. He never told me to shut up. My brother, a gentleman, never told me. No man has ever told me to shut up. So this fucking asshole, I'm trying to be nice, Jim, because that's why I asked if you changed in your life a little bit with age. Sure. I'm trying to be nicer off stage. There's this fucking cunt in the audience. Off stage. Oh, off stage, okay, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's this n- nice lady. She couldn't see because some tall fucking idiot's in front of her. And she had a cast on her leg. So I go to her, honey, you look miserable. Move up a little. There was a couple seats. I go, move up. Come on. So she's couple. taking too long. And this fucking asshole yells, shut up the two of you's. Well, I don't know. It's that's a hot button it for just me, hit dude. You wrong. It hit me because anyone triggered. telling me to shut I was triggered to like Oh, really? I will fucking kill you. And I said, deliberately don't make it funny. Make it angry. And I had no choice. I fucking snap. It's like a postal worker. Yeah. So I go up to him. This is the best part. I go up to him. I go, dude, I go, you don't like it. You shut the fuck up. And I said, you know what? I learned this from Joey Vega, this other comic years ago. I love Joey. I love this. How to he fail. said, he said, what's that? <laughs> How to fail. No, stop. <laughs> I'm he, I just talk to him on the phone. I know. I'm no a great guy. I'm sure you talk yeah. to everybody on the phone every time you fucking say that. All right. So listen to this. I, I say, get, say, say to the guy, I will pay yeah. you to leave. I go, you know what? I said, Give me, tell me how much you paid for a ticket. I'll fucking give it to you. So I always keep like 50 bucks in my pocket, right? In Rich's case, it would be like eight. <laughs> so I go to the guy, all right, I'll pay you to leave. And he says, he's so fucking dumb. He goes, I'll pay you to shut up. And I go, okay, like you're going to give me money. I'll fucking take it. The guy gives me a 20. Well, I say, what are the optics on this? You know, somebody's taping it probably. Sure. So I go, I could either crumble it up and throw it at him. I could rip it up, which looks wasteful. Or I could just... I don't know. I I should have thought about giving it to a charity. That's what I should have said. I should have said, this is going to the Me Too's that you tried to cornhole against their will, you know? However, I just mm, crumpled, threw it in his face, and then I threw the fucking mic, and I said, I did my hour, suck my cock, all he is, and I fucking left. 
And this is my feeling. Once I fulfill my obligation, suck my dick. Yeah, You're not going to. That was security, the end of the hour. But security was, uh, you know, not yeah. exactly right. the most competent. And um, yeah, no, I, more than an hour. But that'd be common. I was like closing it up anyway. Oh, you are. But okay. Here's what bothers me. Did you do I the rhymes yet? The what? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> he always to show something I, it's all, gets. It doesn't make any sense. It's always no, it something it's that stupid. is from an ancient reference from when he was born. <laughs> like when yeah. his mom was a cocktail waitress on Noah's Ark. Remember that old joke? Okay. So listen, I feel I stood behind that. That's why I called TMZ because from the plane, I saw the quote and I go, oh, I can't wait to get on the ground and FaceTime about this because I was right. Like, I think you're right. You don't have to take abuse off somebody. So, yeah, I, I, Snap was worth well, it. Well, but I said to him, every comic has fucking Snap. Of you, course. You're just fucking, yeah. someone you just even hate their face. Oh, God, yeah. You, they're just sitting there yeah, it's a mirror. smug or... <laughs> or uh, they look like you know what I mean. You're just <laughs> pointed at Sam for the I record. Know. Yeah, okay. Sam's holy. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Medium. And there's no. every every comic. Has, look, he wasn't right, and I don't even want to bring up his name. But you don't know what you never know what goes on Who's before. Name? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, what are you talking about? It's okay. It's okay. No, you never <laughs> know what's like, happening with somebody. But well, also before before they lose their career, right? Whose right. name? Who are we talking about? It doesn't matter. Michael Richards. Oh yeah, that guy. I forgot. You didn't remember his name. No, but so you, you don't didn't know want, what happened. I don't know what he's talking about. No one oh, knows. Oh, okay. He's happened. talking about the famous Michael yeah. Richards yeah. where he said the N word repeatedly. But here's that. what here's right. what really happened. Okay. He said, I don't want to mention his name, but it's because he didn't remember exactly. his name. I know. I, I know. I just don't want to bring up an old You didn't remember. But you kinda did. You just don't know what happens before it or what leads up to a meltdown. Right. And I also felt it I was freaking was great publicity. Up. Like, <laughs> shut up. I, well, not you. Yeah. I know. I know. You actually have some power on the show. I'm not telling you to shut up. He's, what is he's he? he? Oh, he's I'm in town. I'm in town. I know. <laughs> oh. I'm 61. <laughs> <laughs> but Rich, you got you got to admit, in your heart, you had a niceness to you, and everybody has a nice that the, that they're born with. But somebody kind of beats it out of you, or somebody craps on you, and you turn into a fucking monster like yourself. Yes. Did he? But, drool? I, but here's yep. the thing: a piece of <laughs> spit fell off his dumb mouth. <laughs> no, I, I get a lot of saliva buildup. Rich, I, when, uh, just do me a favor, since that? since I feel like it's very, I'm very happy to see you because usually that? I'm like, get the fuck another comic out of the studio, but I was so happy to see him sure. plug your date for the new york comedy festival i'm not doing it i know <laughs> so i am Whoa. i am Whoa. i'm doing it <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> if you want to do a guest spot i mean we can't do it i'd love to offer it but, but the, club, the theater said no gramercy theater will not let you he, in on he november answered, 11th he answered, he answered in spot. such <laughs> earnesty he goes i'm not uh, doing uh, it but that's what's so cute about him that's why i'll text <laughs> you after and go i hope i didn't hurt your feelings I, and uh, you said absolutely I mean, not are you kidding me are you yeah. Yes, I'm he's superior. never been to well, a you festival. You are, you are. I will say you are superior. And I so will tell you the one thing, Jim, that makes me maddest about Rich Foss is every fucking time I go to Canada, when I go through a customs line and they say, do you have anything to declare? And I want to say war on Canada <laughs> because that's like his best joke, which that's isn't so great, I, I, but it's five it, albums. No, but listen, to I me. know no Grammy wait, wait, nominations. You, yes. You're doing the grammar. <laughs> you're doing the grammar scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. November 11th. It's a show. <laughs> a it? show I'm doing, hey. and it's f terrific. Who's headlining? It's uh, I, uh, not yeah. you. I know. <laughs> I'll be at Governor's tomorrow. Are we being at Governor's? And, and Wait, McGuire's do not tell me McGuire is still doing comedy. Yeah, yeah, it's great now. No, Day it's not. Did, I yeah, haven't done that room in 20 boy. years. Jim, it's John you Ryerson. Don't do clubs. Let me tell you something. Oh, I do. <laughs> Whoa, <sorry>. Governor's <laughs> Wait, bought McGuire. Can I tell you one really funny story about McGuire? That fucking John Ryerson, that crazy Mick. Here's what happened. Remember Big Frank D'Amico? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. My show at the Grammar Show is a lot about weight issues. I mentioned. Oh, you dated Frank, right? Yeah. I dated okay, Frank for a while. He big guy. He was like 400 pounds. I have a lot of stories about him. He's a very great guy, but he's a de he's dead now, which is great for comedy. <laughs> well, this Ryerson was such a fucking drunk when he owned the place. I don't know if he is anymore. That you do three shows on a Saturday, but every time he'd introduce Frank and talk about Frank. It'd get more insulting. Like the first show, the seven o'clock show, we'd go like, uh, your headliner tonight, big Frank D'Amico. Clap, clap, clap. Second show, your headliner tonight, 
big fat Frank Zuniga. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. It was big fat tits that hang, eats <laughs> things constantly. Frank Zuniga. I'm like, you drunken fuck. What are you going to say about me with the dyke hair? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow, John. I haven't. I haven't. I, haven't he, I always liked him. He was always nice to me. I mean, oh, what a drunk. He got mad he? at me because I was heckled once, and I went off on the guy, and the guy left without paying. And I go, and I, I wasn't a Joey Vega at the time. I didn't have that ball or money to throw around yeah. and say, oh, I'll pay his tab for him. But he, he yells at me for handling a heckler. He's fucking crazy. Do you I worry was, that I when was... a video, like like the TMZ video comes out or these stories come out, that people are going to go and want to heckle you because it's like now it's a thing? Uh, maybe. I hope they don't. I hope they know that I always win. Like, because we always win. When's the last time you saw a comic really lose it's, who's of any caliber? Yeah, it's very, very hard to lose with the mic and with the timing. It's really, it's hard. Plus, it's what headlight. you do for a living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? It's like, like it's, we're, we're not you new. Yeah. You know, the best thing at Caroline's was once when years ago when I was still doing clubs like Rich still is yeah. after 50 <laughs> years in the business. What the fuck <laughs> happened? <laughs> Why don't you call your next album What the Fuck Happened? <laughs> I, but Jim Norton, I, I will tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at Caroline's. Answered, honestly, I, like, I don't know and what happened. And it's like one of those shows that they have a bachelorette party, as you know, which is oh, always the worst. So I'm terrible. screaming at these cunts. I say, you got one last chance. I go, one more fucking sound. Just one. And they fucking... They give you 10 minutes. Like, oh, we're going to let her get her guard down. They fucking make a sound. I go, out! Get the fuck out! And they walk out and they say to Kenny, who used to manage the place, they go, oh, Kenny. Uh, they go, uh, we're, we're not assholes. And he goes, ma'am, he goes, I've been in this business 20 years. You are among the top five assholes I've ever met. <laughs> now that's a fucking club to back shit. That's right. No, Caroline's fucking... would boot people. There's nothing worse yeah. than when you call for security, get them out, and, and this, no one shows yeah, up. Cricket, yes. cricket. Uh, oh my God. Just look powerless you on stage. You just stand there like a eunuch. A club, yeah, uh, yeah. This guy was fucking drunk fucking with me. He goes, why Why did you go back after the drunk? I go, why did you keep serving them? Yep. You Thank you. Them uh, that's alcohol. a scene for a movie. What's that? I'm telling you. It's compelling. <laughs> well, you movies. know what I know. <laughs> you know why the best place to do comedy is Salt Lake City, Utah. I love that game. Because you go there. They do not allow drinks in the theater. There's like a curfew on drinking. So you can only drink in certain bars at certain times. That fucking place is silent. Like when you yeah, do you jokes, right? Like, yeah. It's so fantastic. Oh, well, you got me <laughs> four in a row, but thank you for <laughs> thank you for doing my movie. Well, listen, Rich, uh, <laughs> Rich, what <laughs> movie? Let me uh, let you me ask my movie. I know. Did that what? ever make it out it in the did, theaters. Oh, what are you kidding me? You no. know how well that movie. Fucking... I was ashamed to see it because I was fat at the time. Oh. No, and I said, fat. "Oh, I don't." We only, we only shot you from the head up. Oh, good, so good, good. Because I was misshapen uh, and horrible. No, you were great in the movie. <laughs> I was pretty uh, heartfelt, I must say. Yeah. What was the movie called again? Women aren't funny. Is it? They and aren't. You're proving it now. I like. But... I, you know what? One a person <laughs> bought for me once the website gashaintfunny.com, which I thought was you fantastic. I own it now. Oh, Gash. they bought it for you. Yes, yes, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gash ain't funny. Hey, is it affect because because you know you 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 do racial stuff? Like, are you fucking panicking about what's going on now, or do you still do the same stuff, or do you do you kind of direct it a little different now? I, I like I said, I'm taking a little time off from stand up, and I'm doing like this sto storytelling show now. <laughs> <laughs> the show with the Gramercy is a, a lot of food and weight stuff, story, this oh, and that like with other actors. Show. Uh, no, it was uh, I was other actors and okay. stuff. Well, check this out. This racial stuff, however, I never seem to get a backlash because, like, they know what they're getting when they come to see me. It's what me. you do. Yeah. It wasn't, see, millennials have no idea who I am. They listen to these things called these podcasts. Right. This thing uh, called the internet. Not me. Not me. If you're over 30, you may know who I am. Right. So you know that, you're not going to have me. May. That is a strong, <laughs> uh-oh. So, you know what? If, even if my fans are over 60, I don't care. Because, you know, Rich, having had no fans yourself, yeah. you understand <laughs> I this had two. is... Yeah, I My wife and, and <laughs> one, one of, of your my kids. daughters. <laughs> and, uh, what, now, Rich, have you played Vinnie Brand's uh, Stress Factory up in Connecticut yet? I've I done that room. Yeah. It was, How, uh, do you like it? I, I liked it, but it was it was uh, put on sale on short notice. That's what everyone says when they don't sell a lot of tickets. Yeah, well, I, no, understand, I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's, and uh, yeah. the upper balcony was... Uh, That's okay. Because can I tell you, I live 10 minutes from that place. I still haven't walked in. But my sister, she goes all the time. She says it's terrific. Yeah. And the reason I ask is, why are you playing clubs, Jim Norton? You seem very above it. Rich, I have no question. No, and when I work clubs, sometimes they curtain off to second row. <laughs> 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 like, I remember in the old days before its resurgence, Jim Brewer would sometimes play that Westbury Music Fair yeah. and have half of it closed. Now it's uh, open, two shows, whatever. But I can, uh, the curtain is the saddest I'll side of I'll still do all. clubs sometimes. I mean, theaters are fine, but I mean, I still like doing clubs. And if the money's got money's got to be good. The, the money, money the is good. all that counts. If the money's I good. always like to think I'm going to give the money money to charity and I never do. Oh no, I'm not giving Speaking charity. Of, okay. uh, <laughs> I like the, the Not even the, the 20. Page. 
Nope. That's right. <laughs> Definitely Speaking not. of money, I wanted, I, I just, you were on Celebrity Apprentice. Yes, yes. I, uh, uh, you were in those boardrooms. Oh my God. They keep, you know. Torture. They, they, but they keep talking about the fact that, you know, I think oh, right. Tom Arnold is doing a whole show about the fact that there are tapes. Right. Where from Celebrity Apprentice yeah. where he's dropping end bombs And these torturous uh, 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 boardrooms. Okay, first of all, I'm being tortured right now because I just have to say that shot of Rich Ross is still up on the thing. <laughs> it's and, awful. You know, where I, was, it, I thought yeah. I was it, it uh, might, heading towards dykedom yes. before. Might un, it might undry you after <laughs> five years. <laughs> I know. I mean, you never know. So listen. Is he dropping racial see, slurs no, and whatnot? See, what no. Here's what happened to me in the boardroom. This was the fucking most hurtful but funny story, and it led me to get my weight loss surgery. Okay, so we're in the boardroom. And it was just a given that Trump, he didn't hit on any of the women that I know of, but he did compliment all the women. And But I know off the bat, I'm a fat cunt who's in menopause. He's not going to compliment me. I'm, he's going to leave me out, of course. So I'm, I'm settled with it. He did seem like he liked you, though. No, yeah, he liked me as a guy. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So, yeah, so you made it all a of couple, them. You made yeah. it all the yeah. way to the end? Yeah, I, I got fired. I was top four. Because so I got to appear on every episode. Off first. Well, yeah. And, you know, me and Penn well, kind of hung again, in there. you're not a comp. Go ahead. That's true. That's very true. I'm a spiritual being. So anyway, here's the deal. I was spoken word act. So here's what happened. So we're in the board. Room and every week he's picking out a different woman to compliment. So he's like, Teresa, you look beautiful today. Aubrey, you look more attractive with every coming week. One day, Jim, out of nowhere, if fucking I was dying, he goes, Lisa. And I'm like, oh my God, he's recognized me as a woman. It's my turn. And he goes, Lisa, doesn't Teresa look beautiful today? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. Like, it kind of hurt. I'm like, I am sick of being the fat cunt all the time now. I'm taking care of this shit. But yeah, he did like me. I stayed on for a really long time. I earned 130 grand for the gay men's health crisis. So it was no, worth no it. No one's happy. But yeah. you know what? Yeah. But you know what happened? It didn't do shit. Did you just fart? <laughs> yes, no. It did. Rich, Lisa's in the middle of a story. Yeah, so well, that's the usual reaction I'm to my 61. stories. I'm Yeah, you, you have a good excuse. But I like how he's still rocking the old time jewels, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 61 years. It's cool. It's cool. It's like he's found that persona and stuff And is, with he it. has perfect uh, fingers to have rings on them. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> little stubby things. Yeah, short and stubby. <laughs> a little sausage. <laughs> so you're saying about the boardroom. Yeah, yeah. No, I never heard him say any racial stuff. I just remember once he brought Melania in, we asked, had to kiss her ring like she was somebody. And I'm just like, mm, you know, who cares? Right. Did you do the... But he treated you, you well. Oh, yeah. Well, again, he just, I think he respected that I was a hard worker. That was about it. Have you oh, seen wait. him since he's president or no? No. Oh. I think he's just scared to uh, scared to align himself with someone like, you know, with racial content and stuff, even though he's good with all those guys but in we, Charlotte. You, you roast him on Comedy Central, but we roast him on at the Friars. Yeah, I did that. You did that one too, but right? But guess what the Friars when told Regis me? When Regis Filmin was the host. Filmin, that relate. one. Regis Filmin. Oh. Whatever the fuck his name is. Did you say name. Regis Filmin? Of course I'm he did. 61. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Morris is outside from Boys to Men. You want to bring him? Yeah, he'll hang with us. Nathan Nathan Morris Morris from from Boys to Men. Men. Shut up. (laughs) Yeah, he'll hang with us. Yeah, he's going to come in and join the chaos. Yeah, Regis Filmin. He said Regis Filmin, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the freaking um, Filmin. 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 Filmin with a B. The guy we did when we roasted Trump, they made me at the Friars dress up like a nun so I wouldn't offend him. They said coming out on nuns mouth would be funny. On TV or no, on no, the at the Friars. I did that one yeah. at the Friars. It was not uh, memorable when yes. you did it. Yes, yeah, I, however, I, I, I don't my recall that were, happening. We're, we're in the fucking newspaper. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy for you. What'd that do? Yeah, maybe a fucking movie. Fuck you. We're pretending to have a fight. We're pretending to have a fight. Hi, Nathan. Hi. How you doing? That's great. Nice. Just lift the mic up. We curse on this show. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry. I guess I've been told all my life not to, so when I hear it, it's on radio, yeah. That's okay. We'll try to no, drain no, it, no, turn it back it. a no, notch. No, no, if you great. want to, so within is... three minutes, you can close your deal with her. Listen, that is not true. <laughs> wow. I've been celibate for six years. <laughs> have you, you really? Yes, I have. And I, it has not. It has been both my choice and men's. Six years? No oh. one has given me an offer in six <laughs> she years. Said her choice <laughs> and men. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mutual. It's true. Yeah, Ever yeah. since my divorce from Jimmy Big Balls, I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until I work on myself enough to attract an equal. Because mm. Jimmy's a great guy, but he was not an equal. So where do you um, find a hack at? I don't know. I'm looking at one, but I, I you're married. Say- <laughs> <laughs> so Nathan Morris, this Sorry is Lisa about Lampanelli. That. Lisa Lampanelli, how are you? The legendary Rich Voss. How are you? Jim Norton, Sam Roberts. When you say Welcome legendary, it's like when you call a short guy tall. That's right. It's like yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like calling the big what guy the tiny, fuck? you know? Yes. Yeah. So, I've only been nice no, to you. No, I love you, Rich. You, you know haven't been nice to her. You've been very mean the whole time she's been here. Are you fucking kidding me? 
kidding? I'm defending myself. I'm from the streets. Oh, you're okay, not that's from the streets. That's from the streets. Don't you oh, agree, oh, Nathan? Oh, without a doubt. Like oh, a my God. Yeah, I'm not yeah. mad at though. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you performing? Because this is very exciting to have you in studio. Actually, I will be back here at Radio City. <gasps> which, uh, that's fantastic. In February, I think we're doing Valentine's Day. Well, oh. But, um, but in the I'm meantime, actually, you're... Uh, you got a show. What? Yeah, I've got a uh, hit properties with Nathan Nathan Morris. Yeah. It's a new a new series. It's on the uh, Do It Yourself Network. I always like DIY. Sh- yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, DIY. Uh, Saturday, <laughs> I wish you were DIY. Uh, this Saturday at ten thirty it premieres, which is uh, I, I like those. They're all like kind of fixer upper shows. Yeah, this one uh, this was fun, man. But we we dug in a little bit. This was uh, pretty expensive for us. We did uh, bought a house on the golf course in Orlando for about one point seven million, and we put about. 1.3 in it, and it went on sale last week for about 499. <gasps> so what that, what golf course? It's uh, Lake Nona. Beautiful course. Yeah, yeah. We found a house that had a double lot. It was sitting for a while. Don't know why, why anybody didn't buy it. But what was wrong with it? Just dated and, and, and way too much work to do. But I mean, you know, we, we felt that it being on the golf course, it, it would it would move if we did it correctly. At the end, and we think it will. Was everything, nice. was it the whole thing completely fucked up? Because sometimes if you go to, I, I looked at a place when I was trying to uh, buy a place on Fifth Avenue and it was it was too expensive, but it was amazing. There was a gigantic outdoor deck. And yeah. I'm like, there's something wrong with this place. You just knew it was yeah, too good to be right. true. Uh, was, it was just completely dated that we had to do every single, I mean, it's like 8,200 square feet. So we redid it. All the bedrooms, all the bathrooms, kitchen, new roof, new driveway, new pavers, the garages were done over, new pool, new driveway. Oh, okay. Deck. A clay so we, roof? Was it a clay roof out we there? We actually did a, yeah, they had shingles, but we did a concrete roof. Okay. Now, but it wasn't like there's like, you know, like this, sometimes you get a house like that and there's like fucking fire ants that have, like, yeah. you, ever, like you, you buy it, a house and there's it, some, it wasn't that bad. It okay. wasn't that bad. Isn't it amazing show, that you see shows like that and you watch them do it and you sit there going like, yeah, he's making money doing that. I could do that. I should do that. Yeah, and you convince no. yourself that, yeah, I can fix up a house. That's yeah. always the scary part. That's what he's doing with radio. Do, when you do jump into it, the first couple ones you do kind of... Wait, so did you <laughs> physically <laughs> yeah, work? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you always have this talent? Because well, it's a really tough job. My dad always made sure we could use our hands as kids, so we always had to figure out something now, else who, to do. But who's putting up the money... For oh you're putting me, up the, yeah it's, it's a partnership with me and my manager and another party that we so have, you guys so. are that's you're taking the whole risk oh yeah the, the network is not putting the network is put about that much in you know hotel maybe yeah. well or honestly I think that they weren't expecting a project this big and uh-huh. even the project this big they wouldn't have had that kind of budget and how long did it take to do the renovation it actually took a little over a year <gasps> Holy wow have you flipped places, places before though you bought and flipped places what happened was is that I was invested in a lot of lucrative property with my manager and, yeah. and the other partner and then I, I do a lot of construction and design stuff on my own so this was an idea we thought we'd bring it all together and try to see how this did, works on camera and with the way did you do a lot did you sub oh, out yeah. most of it or you no, did no 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 we, 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 have a, we have a team guys that we work with i physically work yeah so we go in there oh you travel with your own guys and they'll they'll actually go in there and do it because you trust their work do you have fights with them because that's why i like Um, love it or listed and all those shows is because they always fight (laughs) um well yeah i fight with my 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 contractor nice him and i always we kind of differ but he always winds up getting to the end and seeing what i'm looking at in in all the years you've done that how many times have you had a contractor come in under the estimate <laughs> Has that ever happened in, re- in recorded history? Has that ever happened? Here's what's funny: a lot of them try to because they want to be on TV. Mm. Um, we had an incident like that in this situation where somebody kind of underbid the job, and as they got halfway through it, they quit. So we had to finish it up. Why wow. they quit? Because they knew they couldn't they make knew it. They, they knew they couldn't and, finish and it financially. So what's to get? You know, there's there was two golf courses, at least one in Vegas, where people bought property on the course. Because they're on a course, right, right. and the course just closed. Oh. What's the gar- And the fucking property is dead. So what's uh-huh. the guarantee? Is this a private course or a public course? Yeah, this is a private course. Private? Nathan's yeah. looking at you like, I never yeah, even this is thought a- of that. Yeah, I mean, well, I never thought of that. If it's public, it's different, but yeah. private, they, they're, it, they're funded yeah. by the people that live there. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah if it's a private that. course, it's not. What, happen- what happens to the golf course? It depends on what happens to it after. What happens to a golf they, course? They usually build, rebuild more houses on it. If, it's, wow. if a golf yeah, course is going to close, they're going to come in and develop on it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Did you learn this business as you were in Boys to Men as like, you know, this isn't going to last forever, I need a backup, or were you um, always into this. Well, I've always liked to be. I was into real estate, but years ago I didn't have any money, so you can't right. real estate with no money. So as I got no, as I got older, I started kind of investing a little bit, and then got a little bit more risky and whatnot. And then, like I said, I was always doing it, you know, design, construction stuff on stuff that I had. So it was one, something that I've always wanted to do. Just it just happened to come together at this time. Wait, so. after Boys to Men, you didn't have money. No, or no, no, no. Oh, before that, okay. Because a, a lot of musicians get screwed. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, we, uh, 
we're good. We're good. We're okay. good. And we're in, you know, we're in Vegas now. I don't know if you guys know that. But oh, we're yeah. residency, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been about five years now at the what, Mirage. What place? At the Mirage. Awesome. Oh. So we've been to Mirage for five years. We just signed up for another three years. That's so, great. Oh, that's it's, fucking great. It's a stationary place for us because before that, we did a lot of traveling around the world, doing a bunch of tours and stuff, and it was just crazy on the body. So it's kind of good to be there 22 to 20 weekends out of the year. So, so you kind of have a place in Vegas, or do you stay well, in the no, hotel? Actually, I, I stay in Florida. I fly back and forth. How many nights you do? Five? We do uh, three, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's it. So wait, you will fly in just for the three days and go right home after? Either go home or go to another corporate gig or something else that we have to do. Who mm-hmm. opens? you need a, a comic opener? <laughs> well, you know what's funny <laughs> is that the, uh, the, uh, the available. Mirage, they have that aces of comedy. They, they bring all those comedians in, and sometimes they either go before us or after us. So they Well, except that. him. Nobody likes him. Oh, no, like, he, yeah, just, so, yeah, he doesn't know. get booked. They go after yeah. you? Yeah. Who wants to follow Boys to Men? I, I would not. Well, that's uh, a tough. Well, you know what it is—is is that they go. It's not. It's not the same show. We go on, then they clear out the house, and then they bring. Yeah. Oh, different. Oh, uh, okay. Different yeah, 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 yeah. So it's kind of. How like, many seats is the theater? Uh, Thirteen hundred. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, which is great for us because yeah. you know it's just enough. I mean, people coming from all over the world, which is great for us because, like I said, normally we had to travel to all of them. So now you know, with Vegas being a universal city, everybody comes in and that fucking three nights a, a mm. residency for three nights. That's what Ralphie had at uh, whatever place he had Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep, it's perfect. It's it's that's a gift for a it's performer. Great. Were you there when the shooting happened? We that's the only weekend we weren't there. We oh, you got lucky wow. you weren't there. Yeah, we were off that weekend. Yeah, yeah. So. Has has tourism taken a hit after it that? It did early on. Uh-huh. But I mean, you know, yeah. Vegas. They're, Bounce they're, back. They're strong people, man. They, you know, this they live off of you know people working and and you know the casinos and stuff like that. So they had to jump back in. Vegas, it. Vegas for three days is great. In and out when you're there after a that, week. Yeah. Oh, you want to kill yourself? You, you feel so dirty. Yeah. And I hate guys in Vegas because they think they could do anything mm. and tra- they're drunk in the elevator, yeah. grab it. I yeah. fucking hate. Eight. Well, and also yeah, everyone's so. having fun except you because right. you're working. Right. You know, you have to be fresh for the show and stuff like that. So I always felt it was a big party I wasn't invited to, which leads you again. to eat and drink and do all that again. <laughs> you so much. Yeah, no, <laughs> Take I, pity on him. All I can get. I'm in on Friday and out on the red eye on good, Sunday night. Good, good. So. You oh, you kids? go home after your kid. Yeah, twenty two year old. He's in school now. Oh, great, yeah. great. So you don't just spend a few. Do you stay in the hotel or do you go somewhere else? Yeah, we, we have suites in the hotel. We get the same one every every time we come in. So it's that's nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, suite in a Vegas hotel. It doesn't Not suck. Bad. No, no. Do you no, fly? No. Is a dumb travel question. Do you fly in day of show? I hate flying yes, day of show. I I Why? I'd rather fly. Well, no, I'm so panicked. The flight will be late. You'll miss the money. That's what I well, worry yeah. about. What they do is we we always. It's funny you say that. We always. I'm always on the first thing out. Mm-hmm. There's always two options out. Yes. So if I miss the first one, there's always another. Because flights, the first one's never delayed. It builds right, up. From right. It can be if the flight crew is uh, declared illegal because they came in late the night before. That happens a lot of times. Weather, or yeah, whatever. that happens. Yeah. But like I said, we have backups, and most of the time, the, the first flight is a direct flight. But unfortunately, in my case, nothing flies direct out of Tampa. So are you well, guys you're also... in Tampa. Well, I, that's the airport I fly out of. Yeah. Right, I'm, right. I'm like the house we did is in Orlando, and I'm mm-hmm. two hours south of that. When's okay. the last time one of you missed a gig because there's three guys coming in? We don't. Wow. We don't. I That's feel, amazing I to think, rely on other yeah, guys for yeah. your gig. We've mm-hmm. never, not, not because of that. We might have, the gig might have canceled or something, but we've never missed No, it. just me going to a gig, I panic. I would hate to rely on two other guys. Three different directions. Exactly, yeah. 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 What do you yeah. suppose it is about you guys that you're smart enough to keep this thing going? Like, you know, mostly you haven't self destructed. You know, the three of you at least have maintained together. Right, like, right. you're still doing regular. Gigs. I think it's just mm-hmm. how we were we were brought into the business, and 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 we 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 did what a lot of kids don't do, but we listened. We mm-hmm. listened to what people told us to do. You know, the the greats, the Temptations, and Stevie Wonder, people like that, taught us how to be around for a long time. So we took all that knowledge in, and yeah, we fight and we go through stuff like everybody else. But overall, I mean, we know that nothing's ever going to be stronger than the whole, and this is just what we've been put here to do. So everything else that we do is extra. What's the longest you guys went without talking? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe a couple like, weeks. Oh, okay. Wow. It's very brief. Not, All right. Not Temptations. Yeah. Uh, uh, David Ruffins or Dennis Edwards? <sighs> That's tough, man. <laughs> As a musician <laughs> and an entertainer, names. they all have different no, styles. It's so my favorite band of I think, all time. I think that they brought different things, each one yeah. of them. So, I mm-hmm. mean, it's it's one of those things where you can plug one out and plug one in, but they both can't do the same thing. So. I met I met uh, David Ruffin's daughter in Detroit, and I was starstruck because it was. What is it with you and celebrities' kids? You exactly. keep bringing them up today. How about I'm you? Not impressive. Care. The Temptations are my yeah. favorite fucking band really? of all time. Yeah. Of yeah. all time, when they yeah. used to do TCB with the Supremes on TV, they mm-hmm. used to sing Taking Care of Business. Yeah, it yeah. was fucking amazing. Yeah. No one's better than the Temptations. No Black Monday. Sabbath is better than the no, Temptations. I'll take the Temptations <laughs> over Earth, Wind, and Fire. Me personally, no, I I hear you. I mean, I, again, I'm a vocal guy, so I'm always yeah. going to lean towards vocal group. Than in a band. That's just what about Boys to Men? 
Yeah. I don't know a lot of their stuff. I'm old. There. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pop up boys to old men. <laughs> <laughs> I, my music was fucking 60s music or Motown. Well, we, we patterned mm-hmm. all of our stuff after them, which is why uh, we were able to, uh, I think, sustain because... Our parents taught us that music when we were kids. We didn't grow up with that music either, but you know, it, it's the type of music that can last for a long time. Mm-hmm. And by the grace of God, people have passed our music on to their kids. So 27 years later, we're still able to do it. Did you guys try any of that poppy stuff? Like when boy bands, because your sound was pretty no. different from boy bands. That's no, why it's kind we of. because actually came out before the boy bands. Right. They came after us. So it was like, we were already set with the sound that we had. And we, we were on Motown. That was our label in the original days when we started on Motown. So we learned from all those guys to to, to do what's right. Because it's funny, when you listen to like a, a, a boy band song, like you listen going like, this is clearly dated. Like yeah. it's kind of, yeah. it's hokey. It's yeah. kind of, but like boys to men songs, they just, they're just R&B but songs. Weren't, weren't those bands casted? A lot of those uh, boy bands? Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. they were cast. On purpose. No, I mean, there's no, yeah. casted yeah. is not a word. Casted it's is not cast. a word. No. They were cast. Cast is the, Maybe if I stutter, it's casted. You don't stutter, <laughs> you lisp. I'm from the hood. Yeah. He was big boned. All right, one of you. Yeah. Oh, he's that. from the hood. Yeah, big boned. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that was a big compliment because I used to be 100 pounds heavier. Yeah. And oh, I used to like that. The brothers would always find something mm, good about it. They'd boned. say, "Oh yeah, yeah. Big, oh yeah, yeah son, that's right. yeah, that's son." Right. Light like skin, <laughs> light skinned. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's yes. right. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I'm shocked anyone said he was right ever. Good for you, Mark. Today. Well, Nathan's also polite. Yeah, Nathan's yeah, nice. Nice. nice guy. Nathan, really nice. Nathan's, he's that's plugging a his show. Light skinned, big boned, that's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Voss is, Voss is right walking that tightrope of comfortability where he falls over to racism very, very soon. So <laughs> keep, yeah. going. keep going. Run while you okay, can. So cracker bitch. <laughs> cracker bitch. <laughs> yes, that's, a, that's true. Voss is insulting you in 1840. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> Hit properties with Nathan Morris. It's the new series. It I premieres on yeah, yeah, DIY Networks this Saturday at 10.30 p.m. I would actually love to see that because uh, a fucking a million dollars into a property is a lot of money, man. It probably yeah. also keeps you sane. my contribution. <laughs> it probably also. <laughs> I added nothing. Keeps you sane doing in the band knowing you've got this stuff going on outside. Like, you've got your individual thing. So over the weekend, yeah. you do the thing, you get out of there, and you do your own stuff. Yeah, it, it, it kind of parallels to me because, you know, the construction design stuff for me is just as creative as writing songs or producing and performing. So it's just another way to create. So what I knew whatever I was going to do extra would be something creative. So it kind of kind of works for me. Do yeah. you kind of go, like, you get in a fight with the other guys, right, and you're going on a plane, and you go, yeah, fuck you, I got a show on no, DIY, you know go what? fuck yourself, <laughs> no, you big boned I, light-skinned I, I, motherfucker. I, <laughs> I would. That's my thing. I would do that. Sometimes I wish I was built like that. But, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you say it in your head, but you're like, nah, I, I, I can't. I Man, just, you're nice. Yeah. So there's never going to be any video of you, say, having a meltdown on TMZ? No, no, no. Wow. Um, yeah. Sure. It's fantastic. I so, love that Lisa's just looking for the fights. You're just looking. I love gotta fights. be there. Yeah. I, mean, I can't speak for nobody else. <laughs> so you, you've met and, and dealt with like Smokey Robinson oh, yeah. and fucking, have you met this, Diana Ross? Yes. All Jesus, of them. all of them. Diana, Gordy, Stevie, Michael. Is Gordy them. still alive? Yeah. Wow. How old is he? That I don't know. 80s? I was at the driving range next, standing next to Smokey. Which one of his relatives? That's cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Smokey's is uh, one of the greatest songwriters in Motown history, actually. He's unbelievable. What do you say? Do you fanboy out? We were talking yeah. about that. Do With you? Brecken, or, or, yeah. yeah. Do you? Uh, do you do that when you meet somebody, or do you just kind of try to play it cool, like, hey, we're just two equals? Actually, yeah. It's, for me, it's because we were exposed to it so early as kids, being at Motown and teenagers and seeing these guys walk around the office and whatnot. And, Kind of, you know, after a while, it's like, okay, well, that's... Hold on. Yeah, the... The mic went out? Yeah, can you jostle that cable? Uh-oh. Oh, now he's got to be a tech. Hello? I know, that's right? Good. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you're okay. good. Yeah, we've asked Live by night studio. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> it's shit. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> they won't replace the mics. <laughs> no. But that's good. They, they no. should replace the host. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> Cricket. Right. We just didn't like the way I didn't like the way. Look at his little turtle feet hands. <laughs> the way he clenches them together. Turtle feet hands. The way he clenches them together. Nathan, when you see when you see a man wearing uh, jewelry, like if, let's say a man's wearing uh, big gold rings to try to announce to the world that he's oh. doing financially, he's doing very well. I mean, Do you I think it's you... important that he doesn't have short, stubby fingers <laughs> yeah. to draw attention to them? Should he be <laughs> highlighting well, those? It's like well, Oscar well, Pistorius well, wearing gold 
old shoes. Grows a beard, should he not have a big fucking Into the mic. head to draw fucking attention to that fucking Mount Rushmore fucking boat head that he has? You stink. You should be out of here. Oh my goodness. He's trying. Oh, this is still he's trying. Like, he's he's still right going. going. But he's still got to study. If you ever want us to go on the road with you. This is great. Oh my God. But seriously, though, you should not be wearing. Rings on fingers. With short fingers like that. It's not right. Listen, I'm, don't try to get him to turn on it's me. Not well, right. <laughs> he knows it's not. No. He knows. He doesn't want to say it. He's a nice I mean, guy. I, hey. Lisa, you don't think he should. It's terrible. Yeah. It's okay, I mean, I though. I get, I get it. I get it. But I only got it. one, though. Well, right. yeah, but you, you don't have, have stubby, weird fingers. You have normal hands. Oh. Yeah, you're like a normal human you being. You have a man's <laughs> hand. Yeah, but he's not. Not a normal human. Look at them. He's a little sad. That's okay, but... He has hands like a claymation. You, when, I, I, when I'm holding the mic, you can't tell. Well, you can't That's tell true. if That's you're true. getting yeah. laughs so either by the silence. That's true. Right. You can't tell. You and can't you tell know. that his I fingers. Even, I, I even though you, you were still here. I really love you. Well, <laughs> what you can't tell is that his fingers don't meet on the other side. of <laughs> 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 the saddest of all things. You guys are uh, we're terrible. <laughs>